In this video, let us discuss the scope based access control feature, also known as SPAC. We will learn about the prerequisites, how to configure and verify SPAC. Let us understand how SPAC works. A scope is a grouping of resources. You can choose which resource must be part of a scope. For example, if the scope has no hardware resources like servers or enclosures associated with it and is assigned to a user, then the user cannot access any server or enclosure. You can assign a role to a scope that decides what a user can do or cannot do on the resources that are part of the scope. You can create scopes based on organization, user role and skills. You can assign this scope to users or directory groups in the form of permissions. To sum up, SBAC allows you to set up resources that users can access and operations the users can perform on the resources. To configure SBAC, first, let us design the authorization model. Identify the resources that you want to include in the scope. Then, make a list of local users and groups who need HP OneView access. Identify the role that you want to assign to the groups and local users based on the required privileges. For example, the network administrator role can be assigned to a user to manage all the network resources. Let us configure the authorization model. Create the scope. Assign resources to the scope. Add the local users or directory groups and assign permissions. Verify the rights assigned to the users. You must have infrastructure administrator privileges to perform all the steps. The scenario we are considering in this video is of a company X. X is launching a cloud-based pilot project for bare metal servers. HP OneView Appliance is configured to host the servers. Groups and local users need access to HP OneView. We must ensure that specific users are allowed to manage only the assigned resources. Let us start by identifying the resource categories that must be part of the scope. Define the set of resources that you want to include in each resource category. Here is the table that shows the mapping of users and groups with resources. For example, in company X, the first district directory group and its equivalent local user, infrastructure administrator, must have access to all the resources. The finance admins group must have access restricted to only the finance servers. Make a list of the groups and local users who need HP OneView access. Identify categories of users that share similar responsibilities and therefore must have similar rights. For example, in the table, Corp IT Full is defined as one group category, which need access to all the server resources for managing hardware support and shared infrastructure components. Finance Admins is another group category, which needs access to finance servers only. Identify the local users and groups each category of users will be part of. Now that you have identified the resource and users or directory groups, let us determine the role. As shown in the table, for each class of user, identify the HP OneView role that matches the required privileges. Each role has predefined action privileges assigned to it for every resource category. The action privileges are Create, Read, Update, Delete and Use. Determine if the rights granted by role must be restricted by scope. Identify the resource categories the user must manage. Consider the action a user must not be allowed. Moving on to the configuration steps. First, let us create scopes. Log into the HP OneView appliance. From the main menu, select settings and then in the scopes panel, click create scope. Specify a name for the scope. In this example, let us create the finance resources scope. Click create. In the list pane, verify that the finance resources scope is created. Now, assign resources to the scope. From the main menu, click Settings and then in the Scopes panel, click Scopes. In the list pane from the list of scopes, select the Finance Resources scope to edit. Select Actions and click Edit. Click Add Resources. Select a category from the resource category. Click a resource displayed in the name field to select it. Hold down the control key to select multiple resources from the list. For the finance resources, select the server hardware category and add the two finance servers. Click add when done. Click OK in the edit scope screen. Let us create a directory group. Before you add a directory group, ensure the required directory server is added to the HP OneView appliance. You have the credentials of the directory server user. HP OneView uses these credentials to confirm the user's permission to access it. 
the required directory group exists in the authentication directory. From the main menu, select Appliance and click Users and Groups. Click Add Group. In the Add Group screen, click Select Group. In the Select a Group from AD screen, click to select the required directory group from the list and click OK. In this example, let us create the Finance Admins directory group. From the Role drop-down list, select the required role. For the Finance Admins directory group, assign the Server Profile Operator role as you identified this role as the best fit earlier. From the Scope drop-down list, for the Finance Admins directory group, select the Finance Resources scope that you created. To assign multiple permissions, click Add Permission and repeat the steps. Click Add. In the List pane, Verify that the group you created is listed. Let us create a local user in the appliance. Before you add a user, ensure you have the credentials of the local user. From the main menu, select Appliance and click Users and Groups. Click Add User. In the Add User screen, enter the user credentials. In this example, let us create the Network Administrator user. From the Role drop-down list, select the Network Administrator role. From the Scope drop-down list, select the Network Resources Scope. To assign multiple permissions, click Add Permission and repeat the steps. Click Add. In the List pane, verify that the user you created is listed. For each group and user, check and confirm that you have chosen the right role and scope for the user or directory group. The required resources are part of the scope. The defined role has the right permissions and restrictions. Log out of the HP OneView appliance. To log in again, select the directory as applicable. Log in to HP OneView as a user with restricted access and permissions. The user in this example is part of the Finance Admins directory group and is configured to access only the finance related servers. Earlier, you had assigned two finance servers as part of the finance resources scope. In the dashboard, as configured, you see only two servers in the server hardware section. Click Server Hardware. In the server hardware screen, you see that the user is authorized to access the servers that are part of the finance resources scope. Similarly, verify all the users.